I was with my, I was, I was a stock car racing fan when I was a little boy. I was in probably the fifth grade maybe, and my dad took me to a racetrack in Tampa, downtown called Phillips Field. Gordon was the announcer at the racetrack. And it's all smoky, little quarter mile track, you know, old late model running around, and I'm all excited kid. And, and so the races are over, and I go, okay, man, it's over. And dad said, sit down for a minute, sit down. And he talked to me like I knew what he was talking about, but I remember the conversation. He said, I like that voice I just heard. Mm. I said, somebody talking to you that I'm not hearing? He said, no, that's a stock car commentator. He said, I like that voice. He said, I want to I wanna meet the guy. I want to see what he looks like. And we were sitting on the same side where the little little box was where the announcer sat and everything. So here comes Gordon trotting down out of the thing. And my dad walked over to him. He said, I'm Eddie Graham. And he said, uh, I just started a wrestling company. And uh, we're starting to do a TV show. And if you're interested, and he said, I, I would like you to come down and talk to me and see if you can do. He said, I like your voice. And he said, if you'll listen to me. He said, then I can create something with you. Because he said, I just like your voice, the tone of your voice, and the highlights and all that. So when Dad took him to the sportatorium, he said, uh, I want a blind man to be a wrestling fan by listening to you. Mm. I don't want you talking about somebody who's on the street. I don't want you talking about getting a ticket coming to work. I don't want you talking about... I want you describing that match as it's happening so that a blind man can be a wrestling fan. What an amazing mentality. And then he put Gordon in the ring, and he wrist locked him, and he face locked him, and he dropped toe hold of him, and he body slammed him. And little Gordon Soley? Little Gordon Soley. He went through and felt all the pain, and all the aches, and all the, ran his head in the turnbuckles, and, and did, well, obviously he couldn't do everything because Gordon wasn't physically able to do that, but when Gordon would sit there, and Dad, like he was talking earlier, if he said three drop kicks, whatever, he knew, and he asked you why, he would listen to Gordon talk, and when Gordon came back, he'd say, Gordon, you went off on something over there, do not do that, you do this, you do that, so for five years every time Gordon came in from TV dad was sitting right there watching him Absolutely. Going, no, listen to this do that don't do that you're good here he would always compliment you on what you did good and then he would politely steer you out of what you did bad yeah you know so he always made you feel good and then didn't take away from you he made you feel good and then he made you feel even better because he was taking the time to explain what you did wrong mm -hmm. So he, he created Gordon Soley.